Good morning. It is day two of the what read thon am I in? Contemporary thon. I don't even know. Um, yeah, so I'm doing a contemporary thon vlog. I didn't vlog yesterday because I didn't. And I don't really have time to talk because I'm on my way to work. It's 9 a.m. I just finished a book, but it wasn't a book for the contemporary thon, even though I might end up counting it by the end of the readathon, because it was Miles Morales by Jason Reynolds, which technically is not contemporary, but like when you're reading it, it really is kind of contemporary. Like it's like 10% superhero, 90% teenage boy in Brooklyn going to a private school, just general life stuff. So it could be a contemporary. Um, so I might end up counting it. We'll see how I do by the end of the week. The next book I'm going to read is Little Mine, which does count for the contemporary thon. It is three challenges, I think. I'll go over it later. And I'm currently also reading King of Scars, which does not count for the contemporary thon, but I was already reading it and I really don't want to stop. I was supposed to finish it this weekend, like this past weekend, but I didn't. So I'm going to try and like buckle down and read it these first two or three days so then I can start another book that's actually on my TV or at least is contemporary so yeah that's what's going on okay it's day three three of the contemporary thon I didn't update last night because I forgot I was vlogging but something happened last night and I have a great story to tell you guys when I get home from work but right now I'm about to leave for work so yeah I just wanted to update you guys on what I was reading and then I'll tell you about my yesterday afternoon slash evening later. So reading, yesterday I finished Miles Morales and then I started Little and Lion by Brandy Colbert. I'm now two hours into Little and Lion. Um, I'm liking it so far. It's interesting. I don't know how I feel quite yet. Sorry if the focus is going in and out. We're just like seeing the main character come back from boarding school and like how like her friends and stuff have changed, how her brothers changed. We'll see how I feel. I think I am liking it so far. And I read like maybe 30 more pages of King of Scars. I really want to buckle down and read it, but I have a lot of things to do later that I feel like I should do. So I'll update you guys all about all of that later. I just wanted to quickly put a clip in. Hello. Okay, so it is still day three of the readathon. Um, it's like 5.45, almost six o'clock. I just got home from work and I don't know why I'm leaning down. So, so far today I have listened to a little bit of Little and Lion. So I'm now like three and a half hours in. And yeah, I'm still liking it. I think it's getting really interesting. There's a lot of little cute moments and stuff that's happening that are cute and stuff. Yeah, so that's how I feel about Little and Lion. I'm also still reading Six of Crows, which is not contemporary, yet here I am talking, not Six of Crows, King of Scars. I'm still reading King of Scars, which is not contemporary, yet here I am still talking about it. If I sound like weirdly sick, I don't know why I'm just like all of a sudden congested as soon as I decided to speak. Still reading King of Scars. I'm now like halfway through. I think I'm on like page 300 maybe or like close to it. I don't know. I'm not loving King of Scars as much as I thought I would but I'm not like disliking or anything right now like right now it's four stars probably I will say that um if you have just read Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom and then tried to go into King of Scars then I feel like you will not know anything that's going on and if you just read the original Christian trilogy which I think has been rebranded as the Shadow and Bone trilogy and skipped Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom you will once again be kind of disappointed and not know what's going on but I think you'll be a little less lost than if you did the other way around I don't know you really this is really like a sequel series like you really need to read both of the previous series even though I have read both of the previous series it's been a while since I read the original Christian trilogy so there's a lot of stuff that I kind of forgot and like didn't remember like I honestly forgot how it ended <laughs> like I remembered like the big thing but like a lot of the little stuff I forgot so that's made it kind of hard to get into but now that my memory has been jogged we're seeing what's going on you know I'm enjoying it so yeah so that's all the bookish stuff I have to talk about the other thing I want to talk to you guys about because this morning I mentioned it like I have a story it's not really a story it will probably not be that long in this video but yeah so yesterday evening I had a date planned and we're supposed to meet at like 6.30. I don't have a car. I've mentioned that in previous vlogs, but like I don't expect you have to have watched all my other previous vlogs, but I don't have a car. I take a Lyft or Uber everywhere, usually Lyft. Keep that in mind. So like I said, we had this date plan. We met on a dating app. I'm unashamed about using dating apps. I'm 22 years old and I never leave my house. There's no other way for me to meet people. We planned this date like last week or so. And then yesterday morning, afternoon-ish, I messaged him and I was like, are we still on for later? He says, yes. 
right? So that makes me assume that we're still on for later, you know? And then I come home, I like get ready, put on makeup because I like to put on makeup even though I always show up to dates and I'm always, I always look good and the guy always looks fine. <laughs> But that's another story. Anyway, I come home, I put on makeup and stuff. I said, I message him when I'm about to leave, I'm leaving. Probably like 10 minutes later, at this point, I'm in the lift and he sends me a message. Okay, I'm almost there. And then like almost immediately after he says, okay, I'm here, but there's a 30 minute wait. And me being a poor planner, I left a little later than how long I need to get there when you consider traffic. So I forgot about traffic. So I was gonna end up getting there. We're supposed to meet at 6.30. So my lift was not gonna get there until 6.50. So, yeah, so I said that and I'm like, oh, half hour wait isn't that bad because it was like 6.30 when he sent that, right? And then I'm getting there 20 minutes later, so we'll only have to stand there for 10 minutes, like waiting for a table or whatever. We're supposed to get drinks. I don't really know what the wait was for. But anyway, and so I say that and then he's like, oh, actually, can we just cancel? And I'm like, huh? Excuse me? You want to cancel? I'm literally on the way. And you said you were there? And he's like, yeah, I know this is a shitty thing to do. I've never been stood up before. I was literally on the way. <laughs> like I was at this point, like by the time he said that, I was literally like less than 10 minutes away. I know it's a pretty shitty thing to do, but something important came up. And I'm like, I don't care about this important thing came up. What if I was like actually on time? Like you would have just left in the middle of the date? Like what? And I'm like, yeah, it is a shitty thing to do because I'm literally in the lift. And then he's like, oh, what's your Venmo? Like he was gonna pay me back for my lift. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, you're kidding. Like, you have to be kidding. Like, who the fuck does that, you know? So that was interesting. Yesterday evening, I did give him my Venmo because I was mad. Yeah, and I deleted him from the app. Like, I unmatched him because I was like, we're not doing that ever again. Fuck that guy. That was my yesterday evening. And then I came home and post made a Chick-fil-A because I never ate. And then I called my friend and then I texted my other friend and I yelled about it with both of them for like two hours. So yeah, that was my yesterday evening. Like I already gave you my bookish updates. I just wanted to tell that story. I wanted this story to be immortalized forever um, because who does that, right? Like what is my life that like someone canceled a date while we should have been on the date? Like what? That doesn't make any sense. It's day four of the contemporary thon. Yay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm laying down on my bed because my back hurts and I didn't want to sit up anymore to do this update, so I'm not going to. But yeah, so it's day four. I have like two hours or so left of Little and Lion. I'm listening at 2.2 times speed right now, so I really have like less than an hour to listen, so I might knock that out tonight. And then I'm going to attempt to finish King of Scars, maybe, but probably not because I also want to edit a YouTube video. Yeah, so I really want to edit that. It will probably go up Saturday or tomorrow. M not tomorrow, probably Saturday. Yeah, and my day has not been that interesting. All I've read today was like, I'm now up to where I am in Little Lines. I listened to like maybe an hour of it. Again, I'm still liking it. I think it's like pretty hard hitting. I don't know how the bipolar representation in it is yet like i have to look up reviews like i'll look up reviews after i've read it i want like own voices opinions on that before i really comment on anything having to do with that but the main character suzette i really like as a character she's hashtag relatable even though we don't really have anything in common but i don't know i just i think she's a pretty realistic teenage girl so that's good and king of scars i'm still liking it there was like a huge ass twist i was not prepared for at all i was so I was shook because um, before, like, I think in my last update, I mentioned how in King of Scars that I was like, oh, it's like good right now. I wasn't liking it as much as I liked it before. But now after that twist, no, after that, I'm like, oh, my God. So now I really want to read it. That's also why I kind of want to finish it like tonight, just to get where it goes. But also uh, the next book doesn't come out for a year. So that's going to suck. That's it for my reading. My life updates. Nothing happens. Oh, happy Valentine's Day. I forgot about that because... Um, I'm single for the 22nd year in a row on Valentine's Day. Isn't it great? Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get five guys because that is an appropriate meal. So it's day five of the Contemporary Thon. I thought I would do a get ready with me while I tell you guys about what I've been reading. Yeah, it's, uh, what time is it? Like seven o'clock and I'm going on a date. Yay! And obviously not the same guy as Tuesday. Um, yeah, this is how I'm choosing to live my 20s. We go on dates. That's what people do. 
Um, so yeah, I'm going on a date, putting on a face. I made a terrible decision when choosing the club. Well, I asked him because I found out about this place that seemed really cool and it seemed like a kind of place you go on a date to. So I needed a guy to go with and I was talking to him. So I was like, yeah, you wanna come with me? So I already asked him, but like, I haven't met him yet first. So I feel like this is not a good date cause it's kind of like a, I don't know if it's like a club exactly, but it like there's a DJ and drinks, which doesn't really, seem like place for conversation and stuff but I don't know we'll see what happens I'll let you know how it goes in the meantime I should be getting ready right so let me start putting on my makeup today I finished Little and Line I was listening to the audiobook but I do have a physical copy that I could totally hold up but I'm not gonna do that so yeah I think I literally told you guys last night I had like 10 minutes left and I did and I just didn't finish it so yeah also if I'm ever looking like behind the camera it's because the mirror is behind the camera just want to make sure you know because I do have like a beauty filter because I'm ugly but yeah I finished it I really liked it I gave it four stars I know that a lot of people did have issues with it specifically with the bisexual rep but I just didn't see it that way but I'm not bisexual so take that with like a grain of salt but I don't think I ever told you guys what it's about it's about a girl named Suzette who ended up going to boarding school like the previous year she's going back home for summer vacation and also the previous year her brother her older brother had just gotten diagnosed with bipolar disorder so she like wants to like help deal with that and she wants to see like how he's doing and stuff because they're like very close and yeah it's just about her going back home for the summer and like all the stuff um she has to deal with she's coming to terms with being bisexual like also liking girls because she always knew that she liked guys and like she's realizing that she might also like girls, so it's about like her coming of age and like learning that about herself as well. And along with that, she ends up falling for a girl that her brother falls for. So there's like drama to do with that and everything. I feel like my makeup's gonna turn out so bad. Yeah, so that's basically it. There is a love triangle, but it is not the one I just mentioned really. Like that's kind of a love triangle, but not really. We follow that, and like I said, I really enjoyed it. Other people didn't like it for like, like the love triangle because Suzette also likes this guy who's like they're an old family friend. So there's that like that's a love triangle kind of sort of and yeah, I don't know. I thought it was really interesting. I really like seeing Suzette come of age. I just enjoyed it. I had a grand old time reading it. I thought it was important to show how mental illness can affect the people around you and not just yourself as well and I thought it did a good job of doing that and yeah I don't know I think that's all I have to say about Little, Little and Lion. I gave it four stars and I would recommend it and after Finishing Little Line because literally I had 10 minutes left. I finished it while I was getting ready for this morning. I started American Street by Ibi Zavoy. It's interesting so far. What's really annoying me right now <laughs> is, okay, oh, I should tell you the synopsis. So American Street is about, I feel like I look patchy. Okay, so American Street is about a girl named Fabiola who is immigrating from Haiti along with her mother, but her mother ends up getting detained at the airport. They were meeting family who had like sent for them. She ends up having to go on by herself and meet them separately. So it's about her like learning about America. Her family seems like kind of like intense and everything. So she's like dealing with a whole new culture and everything. So, so far it's going well, as well as you can expect. The, my issue is strictly with the audiobook, and I don't know if it's an issue. Like maybe I'm not as Haitian as I think, because if you don't know, my parents are from Haiti. They immigrated from Haiti uh, many, many moons ago now. Um, but And I was born in America, but my whole family is Haitian and uh, the accent that the narrator does for the audiobook I'm like this is not a Haitian accent I've never heard an accent like this and it's just so jarring to me because I'm Haitian like I'm like this is not r quite right and I wish the narrator hadn't done the accent at all and I'm like maybe this is a Haitian accent and it's just been a while since I've heard anyone speak Creole or like talk to me um like from Haiti because like I don't live with my parents anymore um, so that's like my biggest issue which isn't really a an issue with the book but yeah, I actually have the paperback and the ebook, so I could read it that way, but I'm still reading King of Scars. Oh, I should update you on that because I'm still reading King of Scars and I want to only read one physical book at a time. I actually use like so little under eye concealer um, just because, I don't know, I don't think you really need that much. I don't like the triangles and stuff. So I could like just pick up the physical copy because the audio is, is annoying me, but it's not annoying me that bad. And I am still currently reading King of Scars. 
I still like it. It's still it's going well after the plot twist. I really ramped up. I feel like this is really following the pattern of Six of Crows. So I feel like the second book in the duology I'm gonna love. But the first book is like it was slow, 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 and then it ramped up, and now it's like really good. So hopefully the second book is like really good the whole way through. But yeah, I enjoy it. I'm looking forward to getting to the end. I think I'm on like around page 400, so I have about a hundred or so pages left. And if I weren't going out tonight, I would try and finish it, but I am. So yeah, and I think that's it. I think that's all I have to say. I'm nowhere near being done with my makeup, but I really cannot do this any longer. Right now, when I as I finish my makeup, I'm probably gonna watch more booktube videos because I want to. I could listen to my makeup too, but I just don't feel like it. So yeah, I'm probably gonna watch booktube videos, finish my makeup. Uh, yeah, it's day six of the contemporary thon. I have read nothing today. It's like almost 11. It's 10.42 p.m. Uh, I look like this. Yeah. I was going to like update you guys with like another get ready with me kind of story to thing. Not really, but I was washing my hair. So I was going to like update you guys while I was doing my hair. But then I didn't. So here we are. This is a great angle, I swear. Anyway, yeah, I, I haven't read anything today. Whatever I left you guys with yesterday is all I've read. But tonight, the night is still young, kind of, sort of. Not really. I'm probably going to go to bed like midnight. 12 30 but yeah we still have some time until we go to sleep so my plan is to attempt to finish king of scars tonight like that is not a contemporary book i was really planning to have that book done by like tuesday and it's saturday so yeah i'm gonna attempt to finish king of scars tonight and that's the biggest plan tonight today I spent doing nothing, like in addition to not reading. I really haven't done anything. I just watch YouTube videos and laid in my bed. I got breakfast slash brunch with a friend earlier at like noon-ish. And then I came home and laid in bed. Uh, and then I washed my hair, which took like two and a half hours. Really great time. Before I go to update you guys, the date I went on yesterday, I think it went well. How well? I don't know. I don't really trust guys anymore. They constantly lie to me. Um, and say they have a good time when they didn't like he said he had a good time. I know I had a good time but like Whether we go on a second date up for debate, I guess I don't know But if he's still around by the time the next vlog is up, I'll let you guys know great angle I know you know like hot sexy anyway I finished king of scars uh it was good yeah that that's my official review it was good um basically I think I like said stuff about it in the other clip even though this is a contemporary thumb vlog so like I shouldn't have been reading it but you know I was reading it so we're here I feel like I also said that in all the other clips but yeah it was good I liked it I don't know I wasn't disappointed exactly it was just like it was good the ending really had me shook two things happened and I was like oh my god um so yeah I, I didn't catch that on film but yeah like really like it had me shook and I'm still shook uh, I just wanted to get this clip like I literally made audible noises when things happened I'm a little upset you know uh, things happened and no spoilers or anything but yeah so I don't know that's it kind of um, yeah, I'm gonna go to bed now. Basically, it's like midnight, I think. Yeah, I've been reading for like an hour. So, yeah, I'm going to bed at midnight. Good night! Hello! Um, I'm here to end my contemporary thon vlog that I have decided to post two weeks late. Uh, it's past two weeks late by the time you're seeing this actually because right now as I'm filming this it is two weeks later and this video is not going up today. I haven't even started editing it. I've just I'm filming today so I decided to like just wrap up this vlog. So I'm here to tell you what you already know. Uh, the contemporary thon was a high heat epic fail but I'm here to say the challenges that I did finish 
the books I did read. Thanks for watching my failure of a vlog. I really, I do want to get better as I keep going. Hopefully things get better or they might not. I don't know. You're stuck with me though. For the book slash challenges I completed, Little Lion counted for three of the five challenges. So good thing I read this. This was a dark slash hard hitting contemporary, a contemporary that I meant to read in 2018. Considering that I got this in 2017, I've been meaning to read this. For years now so I did mean to read it in 2018 and I finally read it in 2019 and this counts for a contemporary with a picture on the spine I don't know if you can see that but uh it's like very faintly it has those pictures on it if you like it's basically this on the cover but it's on the spine um, and I was told that this counts so I'm counting it Every other book that I read did not meet any of the challenges. So yeah, but I'm still gonna talk about them anyway. So the first book that I actually finished was Miles Morales by Jason Reynolds. And technically I feel like this could have fit in the contemporary thon because yes, it's about a superhero, but like mostly it is really about a teenage boy who is just living his life in Brooklyn and goes to a private school. And like, it's mostly about him like that and like dealing with racism and things like that and his family and his crush and like you know contemporary stuff and like the superhero part is like very small so I feel like it counts I gave that three and a half stars I want to say oh and I gave Little and Lion four stars and the other book that I finished during the week was King of Scars by Lee Bardugo yeah I finished this behemoth I started it before the week but I started it before contemporary thon which is why I kept reading it um, I didn't think it would take as long as it took me to read it. I don't know why I didn't think that because, um, yeah, I don't know why I didn't think that, but I did finish it. I think I talked about it in this vlog, like my actual reaction to the ending. I hope I did because otherwise I don't know what I'm thinking of, but yeah, I really, really liked it. I gave it four stars. Um, this is not a contemporary though, so I guess I won't talk that much about it, but yeah, I really liked it. It wasn't disappointing to me per se, but, um, I don't know I'm kind of expecting this to go how Six of Crows went for me where I really liked the first one but like had issues with it but the second one like really knocked me off my socks so I'm hoping the second one really knocks me off my socks in a year. because books take years to come out. It's not really sad. Um, so that's the end of this vlog. I really just wanted to come here and end it say bye you know um, please watch my other videos I promise they're not as bad as this and yeah thank you so much for watching if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you haven't already please be sure to subscribe to my channel because i make more videos where i talk about books i make reading vlogs that hopefully aren't like this and i actually read books during them <laughs> and i make wrap-ups where i talk about books better than this and i make other videos that i can't really think of right now because i'm tired um but yeah Subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell because that's what YouTube tells me to tell you to do now. <laughs> Thank you again for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.